And a good day, all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. It's been a while since, maybe a couple of days, since I had to leave town for a situation. But anyway, I am back. And today, we're looking at Voodoo Ranger from New Belgium. Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force Fruit Punch IPA. Bold concept, according to the folks at New Belgium. Of course, the Voodoo Ranger line kind of replaced the blank, the Ranger line. It used to be Ranger. Now it's Voodoo Ranger since probably going on four or maybe five years now. Maybe six years, possibly. So, since I've had New Belgium beers. I would say about four years now since they changed the name to Voodoo Ranger. Voodoo Ranger. Anyway, 9.5% ABV. This is a New England style IPA. Um, untapped, considered a New England style or double IPA style. So I'm drinking on a wine glass. I could already smell the fruit punch aroma in this right away. So this is that saying is a with a fruit punch twist, as they say. Uh, 3.6 out of 5 on Untap. Uh, Beer Advocate, uh, um, only like 4 people have reviewed this. 5 people reviewed this beer, and so far it's 3.7 out of 5. So that's their assumption or feelings about the beer. Uh, came out around, I've seen this again, I've seen this around late November, around December, here in the, here in the, in, here in the ATL area. So I picked it up today. Uh, it has London Ale Yeast, and it has uh, uh, Amarillo, Centennial, Galaxy, Sobrero, Lotus, and Strata Hops, along with Pale, Malted Oats, and White Wheat Malts. And as far as the hops, there's another hops they add, P-A-H-T-O, Pato, pa, Pato, however you want to pronounce it. Again, it, you, you, right away, there's that fruit punch aroma that hits the nose immediately. Do they use high C? Remember high C fruit punch? Yeah, I do. I grew up on that stuff. Thank goodness I stopped drinking that mess. Um, maybe some store brand fruit punch. But again, there's a strong fruit punch aroma right in this right away. I'm not getting the the aroma of some of the hops that they mentioned in this. So again, it is a, a New England style IPA, as they say on Beer Advocate. On tap has has New England style IPA, has a double Imperial IPA because of the 9.5% ABV in this. So we'll figure on that. So yeah, nice looking color. You know, it may be, if, you know, some fruit punches do kind of look like this a little bit. They do. They do, people. If you grew up the way I did. Those mango tropical fruit punches that my aunt used to get at the uh, central, at the supermarket we used to go to. I would go shopping with my mom and my aunt and we'd get these big jugs of, milk jugs of these fruit juices. And it was just like all watered down, but it was just... Yeah, it was refreshing. I will admit, I didn't know any better. It was refreshing, but now drinking is like, ugh. Do I really want to drink this mess again? Thank goodness. Thank goodness for water, right? Good old water. So, all right. I was mentioning everything that's in here, so let's have a cheers, cheers. Well, there's a fruit punch taste in the, on the tongue. Mm. Mm, kind of. Mm. There's an aftertaste to it that I'm not really finding pleasant in this at all. Not pleasant at all. Yeah, I mean, 
this is, uh, hmm, I don't know, people, I really don't know, don't know, don't know. It's fruity for sure, but again, there's just this weird, strange aftertaste I'm getting from this. Maybe it's the hops, maybe it's the sort of the uh, malted oats that they're using. It's sort of like kind of a bit syrupy. Uh, 30 IBUs in this beer as well. Ah, this ain't working for me, y'all. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not going to be negative, negative on this, but it's that aftertaste that I'm just not finding at all pleasant about this. You know, look, I think there's some things that New Belgium does that I, I do like. But on this one, I don't know about this one. Um, but again, the scores have been pretty much on average, I think, about a B minus or straight B so far from what I've seen on, again, the two sites. You know, to me, the two sites I think are important, Beer Advocate and Untap. Uh, right Beer, I, I just, I don't tolerate their BS. But there's sort of this bad candy syrupy medicine taste I'm getting to this. I, I, that's just me, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, use maybe some sort of candy in this. I don't know. Most of them, again, most of them the IPAs you've had. This is a fruit punch IPA. New England IPAs tend to be, again, as we say, New England or East Coast style IPAs tend to be a little more fruity, but they do have a very big hot presence in it, where West Coast IPAs tend to be more hop forward and less on the fruit fruitiness of it. So there's your difference. And for this one, this is just ain't gentle with me at all. I mean, it, it's good, but... um. It's just that, that the little taste on the aftertaste that I just not really, um, I'm, I'm really feeling on this. Again, I'm going to be straight and real with y'all. This, this is just the same, the same it for me. So, um, again, that Fruit Punch Aroma, I'm saying this is their new twist again. I mean, look, there's a... Well, let me just say this. I know a lot of beer companies want to try different things, you know, throw different ideas up on the wall, you know, or up on the ceiling, or, you know, wall, ceiling. Hey, let's try this idea. Uh, some of them do work, some of them not so much. And this one I would say is creative, but. Uh, I, I, I don't know about this. Um, again, I mentioned the Voodoo Ranger line. Uh, they've been very successful of it. Uh, again, he started with Ranger, then went to started with Voodoo Ranger, Voodoo Ranger IPA, Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA, Voodoo Ranger Juice Force Hazy IPA, which was very successful last year. Um, that was a, a big deal. Um, Several other beers that they've done, uh, New Belgian, of course, and of course we all know their signature, their flagship beers, their Fat Tire, um, Amber Ale. Um, they do a triple uh, accumulation, which I have not been able to find here. I was able to find it in Mobile, but not been able to find it here in Georgia. So I don't know. I was at a store today where I got this one at, and I was like looking for accumulation, and they just couldn't really find it. But Hey, you get whatever you can get. Um, I may go to another store, but I don't want to do all that ripping and running. I'm just tired. I'm trying to save every buck I can get. I just don't want to do all that bull BS. Almost cursed, but I didn't. I pulled back. So, um, 
Yeah, so the, the, um, and then, oh yeah, New Belgium also does a paddle IPA. So, uh, the brewery, Fort Collins, uh, Colorado, and they have a brewery in, I believe, in North Carolina, if I can look at my can, and I think also have one in Texas too. Yeah, North Carolina and uh, someplace else. But yeah, those are the locations. North Carolina, I have one in, in uh, of course, uh, Fort Collins. Uh, their side is employee owned, but I think they might have been sold to another company. If, if Maybe, maybe not. If I, it is, just let me know, folks. You know, again, when I go start doing these reviews, um, my research, I don't start doing my research as I should do. I need to be doing when I start these reviews, but I just go on the fly. Memory, or D -d -d telepathic memory. D -d 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 telepathic. D -d 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 so, yeah, it's, this is fruit punch flavor. I'm not really digging. Just ain't flying with me, but it's okay. I ain't going to be negative on this. I'm going to go B minus on this one, so this will be... Eight, seven point nine eight score. So, um, look, some ideas work, some ideas just don't. I don't know. And this just ain't. I'm kind of on the fence about it from a positive to negative. But anyway, uh, B minus eight for the Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force Fruit Punch IPA. Check it out if you could find it, get it. Oh well, maybe you like it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We shall see. John Anderson, Peter, the Beverage Ramblin. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Fruit Punch. IPA. Yeah. Mm. I smile. Willingly? <laughs>